You want to make videos, but you're scared of video editing. Let's take care of that right now. Most videos about editing jump right into using complicated software. I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna talk about basic concepts here. This isn't even video editing 101. It's more like sixth grade video editing. The basics of video editing are super simple. Here's some quick sample footage to show you what I mean. Here's a sentence about something. Here's another sentence about something. Here's a third sentence about something. And here's my conclusion. Oh, I forgot to do the intro. Let's talk about something. Basically, I'm going to pull that footage into my video editing software, chop it up, and rearrange it. When I add the footage to the video editing software, it'll typically look something like this. On top is the video track, which holds all the visual information from the footage. In this example, that's the moving image of me talking. The editing software will usually show one or more still images from the clip, so you know what it looks like. And on bottom is the audio track, which holds all the sound. In this example, that's my voice. It'll usually represent this as what's called a waveform which basically shows a visualization of the volume of the audio. You'll see high peaks when it's loud, low areas where it's quiet, and nothing at all when it's silent. This might freak you out a little bit because you're not used to looking at things like this, but you'll get used to it really quickly. It really helps you understand where the speaking starts and stops so you can edit your footage accordingly. Every video editing software has some kind of cutting tool that'll let you slice a clip into smaller clips. In this example, let's cut up each sentence into a separate clip. You can do this by playing through the footage to see what words are represented by the audio waveforms and use them as a reference to know where to cut. Now that we have them cut up, we can trim out any unwanted pauses and then we can rearrange the footage the way we want it. For example, maybe I decide the third sentence isn't necessary, so I take it out. And then I'll remove the part where I said, oh, I forgot to do an intro. And Finally, I'll move the intro I recorded at the end over to the beginning where it belongs. Let's talk about something. Here's a sentence about something. Here's another sentence about something. And here's my conclusion. That's much better. And what you just saw is really the majority of video editing. It's mostly cutting up footage, deleting what you don't want, and rearranging the parts you do want to keep. But you seem really smart to me and I think you can handle just a little bit more. I'm going to show you two more things. The first is a concept called B-roll. This is basically where you put secondary footage on top of the primary footage to illustrate what you're talking about. It's called B-roll because the primary footage is the A-roll. For example, if this video we're making is about dogs, I might want to put some footage of a dog over one of the sentences, like this. Let's talk about something. Here's a sentence about something. Here's another sentence about something. And here's my conclusion. You see how professional that looks? Everyone's gonna think you're a pro. That helps to show the point that I'm talking about and it makes the footage more visually interesting. You don't have to delete the original clip that's on the first video track. You can actually just add another video track over it with the new footage. The software will show whatever's on the topmost track first, almost like it's looking at it from the top down. If the footage in the top track covers everything in the bottom track, you just won't see anything in the bottom track. The second thing I want to show you is how to hide your edits. You might have noticed when we cut and rearrange the footage of me talking, it gets a little jumpy when we move from one clip to another. The B-roll concept we just talked about is one good way to hide that. If you start a B-roll clip right at a cut point between two clips, it'll hide the edit and make it sound like the audio all flowed together in one straight recording. Another thing we can do is just change up the visuals to hide the edit. You'll sometimes see interviews or other productions shot with multiple cameras. This is often so they can hide the edits when they cut parts out. They switch between cameras so you never notice the edit. However, you're probably shooting with just one camera, which is fine. Another trick you can do is zoom in or out of your footage to help hide the cuts, like this. When you do that, it seems like it's one smooth edit that happens to have some visual effects rather than multiple clips sliced and rearranged together. Let's talk about something. Here's a sentence about something. Here's another sentence about something. And here's my conclusion. If you're still watching this video, you must be really into this, so I'm gonna give you one last bonus. Text. Your video editing software will generally let you add text or titles to the video just like you would add B-roll, dropping it on top of your main footage in a higher video track. It'll show the text first and then the footage underneath it. You can arrange where the footage starts and ends to control where the text appears and disappears. If you're wanting to get started editing videos, I just showed you 90% of what you need. So congratulations, you don't have to be afraid of video editing anymore.